Hello everyone, I am Santosh and I welcome you to my channel Learning Bits. In this video, I am going to discuss about the basic structure of OpenGL program and while doing this, I am going to show you how to draw and even display a square using lines or using polylines and even using polygons. You can just check out in my previous video, I have just shown you how you need to install the code blocks in the windows environment and how you need to configure the code blocks to work with the OpenGL environment and how to create a project, how to execute a project, how to compile a project and how to build a project. Fine. So all these details have been discussed in the previous video and the link of that video I have been put in, put in the description. You can just go through that. So once you know how you can create a project, so this is what you are going to have the interface. So being in the code block interface, I have been created the project with the title CG Lab. And in this, I am just going to create an file, a C program file called as lab0.c. And if you want, you can create even this as CPP file also. Even you can code with C++ program. But uh, C is the basic and simple program. And so I'll be using the C program to create OpenGL programs. Fine. And now as I just told, so now in this video, we'll be discussing about the basic structure of OpenGL program. And now whatever the API, of OpenGL now I am going to discuss, I am going to show you, this is or the essential OpenGL APIs which you need for all the OpenGL programs what you are going to design and develop. Hence, just have a careful look at all these APIs. I will tell you what is the importance of these APIs, why you need to use that APIs whenever you want to talk about an OpenGL program. Hence, Whatever the program I'm going to give now in this video, this is going to be like a skeleton of an OpenGL program or skeleton of any OpenGL program. Hence, let's start. And this is a C program. And to usually start with the C program, usually we are going to make use of the main function. And so now first let us have a void main. And we are going to open the body of the void main. And this is going to be the first functions what you usually use in a C program. Now, as this is an OpenGL program and the code blocks IDE what we are using. Now, whenever we are going to make use of IDE, if you are executing a C program on terminal, then void main will surely work. But as you are working in IDE, the IDE expects your main program to return something. Hence, so rather than saying this as void main, so this should be int main. And when it is int main, it should return something as let us say return 0. As I am going to have a normal termination when the program is going to end. So this is the first step what you should do. As it is a C program, and so I am going to have int main, so return something. And once this is done, the very first API, remember this, the very first API what we are going to use in your OpenGL program is the GLUT. That is, this is going to be in the utility toolkit library. Hence, we call this a GLUT and the function name is init. Now, just look at this. So, this init is the short form of initialization. And so now, as soon as you start a C program, now, by default, a C program is going to be a console program, the console input output program, the black screen, the output where you see. And so now, this C program right now should work with the graphics output. It's not going to be just a console output, which is going to be a textual output. It should work with the graphical output also. And for that case, you need to, you need to have a interaction. You need to have a interface with the window. The way we are going to create the window, the way we are going to manage the window. And this is going to happen along with the operating system. 
that is the windows what right now i am using in my system and so this should go in coordination it should have an interface of the windowing system of your operating system hence your program should significantly say that i am going to make use of the window environment and i am going to make use of the window management management also and for that case the very first api is i need to initialize my program so that my program can work with the windowing environment and the graphical window output as that is where we are going to say initialization the short form is int and this belongs to the library glut because in open gl you got three types of library either you will be having the core library the gl or you will be having the GLU library or you are going to have GLUT library. Yes, this initialization function is going to belong to GLUT library and we say GLUT in it and just observe this uppercase and lowercase characters also. And once this is function is going to be, this function takes two parameters fine and the two parameters what i'm going to pass for this function should be the parameter what i expect or what i accept from the main function hence so now this main function now should have the parameters and whatever the parameters you're going to pass for the main function it is going to be a command line parameter it is going to be a command line parameter and so i hope you are aware of what is command line arguments or command line parameters usually we are going to have the command line arguments as argument count which is going to be an integer and i'm going to have argument as a string or a array of string which is going to be a second parameter hence the main function now should take two parameters the argument count and the array of strings which is going to be argument vector now this is going to be two dimensional array because you need to have array of string if you say string it's single dimension and if you're going to say it as array of string it is going to be two dimension in this case I'm going to have this as two dimensional and when you're going to have two dimensional array you need to give the size for this first dimension if you're leaving the second dimension to be blank hence you need to fill something over here now what do you fill you are not clear enough or you do not know how many parameters the main function will receive upon execution hence i clearly don't know how many parameters it takes hence i am going to remove this and i will just keep this as character pointer now this is similar to array of strings instead of using arrays i am using the pointer concept over here and so now your main function takes two parameters the argument count and the argument vector you need not worry at this point you need not pass any parameter for the main function your compiler your id will take care of passing the appropriate parameter for your main function and once you are going to have this parameter in the main function you need to pass this as the parameter for the initialization function glut in it the first parameter should be the argument count there is the address of argument count and so address argument c comma and i need to pass the address of this argument vector now this is an array already a reference or a pointer variable already you need not use the ampersand or address of just give the array name and this parameter always need not be the argument c and argument vector for simplicity i can say it as int c if i want and i can make this as v so it's your choice what parameter name because this is going to be now an local parameter or a formal parameter and whatever the name you want you can use here now this is what you should do in the first step of your open gl program you need to initialize your program through the command line parameter so once this is done your program is ready to work in the graphics environment and now once you have been initialized your next job is you need to create a window and for that i am going to use the api so create so create a window 
I'm going to use the API create window which takes few parameter and now this create window API belongs to the library glut hence we are going to have glut create window and now this is going to take one parameter this is going to take one parameter which is going to be the constant character title or i can say the title of the window what you want to give and so now we are discussing about a basic program and so let me give the name as basic open gl program i'm just going to give the name as basic open gl program now this is going to create a window for you so now uh, once i am going to have this api now if i am going to compile this and execute this what you are going to see Let, let's check it out i am just going to build this and when i build you can just check it out here you can just check it out so if there is any error or any warnings you can just check out here so i am going to have warning so implicit declaration of function glut on implicit declaration of function glt create window so this means so i got some sort of error here the error is undefined reference to glut in it and undefined reference to glut create window that means so this has been not defined so the problem is i am using an inbuilt functions here this are inbuilt functions of the library OpenGL. Hence, you need to include the header file. If you don't include the header file, you cannot make use of such inbuilt functions. And now you are going to include so glut.h is the header file. And make a note here. Now, this header file is not in the current directory. In the current directory, there is a folder called as gl inside this folder there is glut.h now along with this along with this so some here or there i'll be using even the glu library so even you need to include glu.h also so this two header file should be included i am going to save this now and i am going to compile so when i compile so i am just going to have no zero errors and zero warnings now i can go for execution let me see what happens if i execute now when i execute i'm just going to have i'm just going to have the console this is the console input output i've just got the only console input output so yes right now the program may be working fine i'm going to create but the window what i've created i'm not able to see because because the execution start from the main execution is going to execute this api executes this api in fraction of a second the execution will come to return and you're returning from the main function you will not able to see the window at all and if you want to see the window you need to use the function called as glut main loop you need to include this function now glut main loop will make sure this will be keep on executing the main function in loop and it is going to be the starting point for the execution of your window operations whatever the window operation you're going to have it is going to be the starting point and you need to include glut mainly if you don't include glut main loop then you will be not able to see a window what you have just created so now once adding this now we will just compile this zero errors and zero warnings and i am going to execute this so when i execute this so you can see some errors is going to display it is going to have some errors there is the window has appeared and it has been disappeared immediately there is no display callback function hence as there is no display callback function as display callback function should be used until as you don't use display callback function so this is not going to work and so now we need to include display callback function and this is the problem what i'm going to get but if you just execute you can see the window has been created and just vanishes because of there is no display callback function and so now i'm so now right now my program is going to work properly with the windowing system so now whatever the window we are going to create whatever i want to draw in the window 
you need to have a display callback function. If you don't have a display callback function, you're going to end with the error. And the display callback function is the function which you're going to use to draw anything on your graphics window. Hence, you need to have the display callback function. The display callback function is again GLUT. So display FUNC display function. This is the API which I should use. And this function takes one parameter, a function pointer. It can be of any name, but should take zero parameters and should return nothing. Now, this function, the parameter what it takes, it is going to be pointer to the function. That is a function, it is going to take a parameter as an another function. Now, the function what you're going to build should take zero parameters and return nothing. And so wired, the function name and void and so now let me give the function name as draw now this is not an inbuilt function this is a user defined function you can give any name what you want right now i'm giving it as draw if you want you can give it as display you can give it as d you can get it as write whatever the name you want you can give over here and put a semicolon so now i'm going to have a draw function I'm going to have a draw function and so now the draw function what I have used here I need to use the same name here because I need to define this function and I said told you this callback function where the function what it takes as a parameter should have zero parameters and should return nothing and so void drop and so I'm going to open the body of this and close and just compile this and save this and now i'm just going to compile this program so zero is and zero warnings and execute the program now the windows stay back now this is what you need to have the basic apis of your program is going to be fine i hope it's clear at this point how exactly you need to make you to create the window so now uh, other apis what i feel that as important here is so now the window whatever you have done it is small window i don't want this size of window to be this is the default size default size is going to be 300 cross 300 so now i don't want this window i just want this window to be large enough or i need to increase the size of the window i need to increase the width or i should be able to increase the height or so on so instead of doing it after window creation I should be able to do this before the window creation fine and so now let me let me see the API which is going to help me to change the window size and so before creating the window so let me close this uh, logs so that I am going to get the space to type the code fine and so now I am just going to have this API let me give me this in between lines i hope this is clear until this point so now before i'm going to create a window i need to i need to give the window size i need to mention the window size and so i'm going to have the function so in it window size that is initialize the window size and so now this api belongs to the library glut and so i'm going to have glut in it window size so now this is going to take two parameters the first parameter is the width and the second parameter is the height and so now what width you want to give for the window what height you want to give with the window you're going to give it the pixels now this is going to be the width so choose what size of the width you need to have i'm going to give 500 and the uh, height i'm going to give it as it has let me give the height as 500 and make the width as 600 or let me keep both as six it can work with anything any size will is going to work but make sure the size will not cross the size the number of pixels what the screen width has got and the screen height has got and so once this is done so now save this compile and execute it is so the size has been increased i've got 600 and i got 600 over here so now one more function is when i create the window i don't want the window to be pushed 
to this such corner by default is 0 comma 0 I want my window somewhere in between something like this so before the creation itself instead of dragging and placing the window at this point I want this window to be created when I am going to create the window or before I am going to create the window if I want to do that I am just going to use one more API so before I am going to create the window I am going to use glut in it it is initialize so window position so now what position you need to have I need to give x and y now this is 0 comma 0 for x and y this corner and if I keep on going I can increase the size of x or I can increase the size of y whatever you for example somewhere I want the window to be drawn from this point then I need to give it as 100 comma 100 or 200 comma 200 or 100 comma 150 of whatever the choice you are going to make and I'm going to compile this and I'm just going to execute now window has been repositioned now this is going below this and so let me reposition this window at the height let me give this as 50 and I'm going to compile this and execute so now it's fine and uh, if you want this window to be still moved at this position so let me give this as 200 or 250 and I'm just going to compile and execute that's fine now this is fine for me so let me add the window at this point over here so now whatever the window I'm going to I know this is the area where I can put the graphics what I'm going to design so now before I'm going to draw this before I'm going to show you draw this a few more APIs which is essential fine so now whenever I'm going to have a graphics window a graphics window can work in different mode if it is a 2d it's going to work in a different mode or if I want to present a 3d object the way the 3d object is going to contain the depth information the depth value the z buffer all those things should come into picture and so now I can decide in what mode my display is going to work with and so I need to initialize this since to do that I am going to have the API glut in it window or in it display mode I am just going to have glut in it display mode function so now this is going to take one parameter which is going to be of a integer of a mode now for example now I want my display mode to work in using the RGB color model hence I am going to use glRGB if I want my display to work in index color model I will be using gl, gl index or index bits I will be using this color model so now by default or I just want glRGB color model and so I will just say glRGB now I am along with this I want to use the single buffer because right now I'll be working only with the 2d object I'll be using GL single so rather than this being GL UT GL RGB this should be GL UT RGB because you are setting the graphics window and this should be GL UT single and now just observe here so this function takes only one parameter this function takes one parameter whereas don't use comma over here so most of the time you'll make such mistakes don't use comma over here this should be our operation bitwise our operation the value of this will be used with the bitwise our operation with the value of this this are the symbolic constants something like a macro it has got its own values now for example it has got zero and now for if I take about this jingle it is going to have the zero again hence we are going to have these two values which will be mapped so now we'll see whether we have done it right or wrong so we are just going to compile this and we are going to execute yes it's still fine it's working fine now just observe this function so right now though you are not seeing the effect of this function but when when I am discussing about converting or transforming from a 2D program to 3D program at that point I will be showing you exactly how you are going to make use of display mode function by using glut double buffer and making one of that buffer to be the depth buffer 
this is what the few apis which you need to use in the main function before you're going to start your opengl program fine and now the next step is the next step is we are going to put something on something on your screen or in your window but before that before that now if you just observe if you just observe whatever the default color we are going to have the background color is completely white this is the default color and the default drawing color is going to be black is going to be black by default now if you want to change of this any of this color you can do you can change the background color and to do that i am going to use the api so gl clear color i'm going to use gl clear color so now this gl clear color will take three parameters as red green blue and the fourth parameter is going to be the transparency so right now don't bother about this transparency now i want my background to be of black color and red intensity i'll make it zero and green i'll make it zero and blue i'll make it zero when i give zero 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 it makes my background to be of the color black and the transparency i'm just going to give this as one by default so right now even if you give one or zero it doesn't matters but this is what the color what i'm going to set and so once i'm going to give this as gl clear color this is going to make my background to be of color black now the drawing color whatever the drawing color you want to set you are going to do this using gl color 3f fine and this takes three parameters the red green and the blue the rgb now i want my drawing to be in the color red and use the red component 100 percent and i don't want anything from the green and anything from the blue and zero zero so now these are the two apis which i am making some initialization in my drawing area and so now uh, just a just a good practice whenever i'm going to have such apis to be initialized i'm going to put in my own user defined function called as my init this is a user defined function instead of calling this apis here i'm just going to have my own function as so voyage my init so now i'm just going to put this two function calls in this function body now both are same I'm, I'm not doing much difference in the execution or in the logic the only thing what i'm doing here is i'm structuring my program fine and so now i'm just going to call my init function here so which is going to set the background color and which will set my drawing color in my program fine this is almost done so now in this draw function whatever i'm going to have the very first api in your draw function is you need to clear the background you need to clear the background and for that case you're going to use the function gl clear ga clear is the api which you're going to use if you observe this are the apis which belongs to the gl library hence i'm using gl we're going to have gl clear so now what you want to clear you want to clear the background and whatever the background you see of your graphics window that's all in the pixels it's going to be in pixel and whatever it's going to be in the color buffer that is what you're going to project to your window hence if you're clearing something from your program logic you need to clear the buffer what it is going to contain hence i'm going to clear so gl so color buffer bit I'm going to use the parameter as gl color buffer bit that is the frame buffer what i'm clearing if i clear the color buffer it is like i'm clearing the background itself and while doing this while doing this when it is going to apply the clear of a color it is going to make use of the color what i have been set i have set back black here and so it will clear the background with the black color if i have set the white color here it will clear to the white if it is green it is going to clear it to the green this should be the first api in your draw function or the display callback function and once you have been draw something and once you want to put this 
into the frame buffer as soon as the processing of your drawing is done. If you want to put this to the frame buffer for the drawing purpose, you are going to use the function GL flush. So GL flush will make sure immediately whatever the design, the drawing you have made, whatever the changes you have made for the pixel will be immediately pushed to the frame buffer which will reflect in your graphics window. Hence, GL flush should be the last API of your draw function. Now, in between this, where you are going to draw whatever you want. So now, let us draw a rectangle or let us draw a square. So, just look at this square. Now, this is what we need to draw. And so, let me uh, resize this window. Now, this is what I want to draw. I have designed over here. While designing, this is the default coordinate system of your open gl program this is the default coordinate system there is a unit coordinate system minus x axis values minus one plus axis is plus one similarly with the y axis and this is the minimum x value what i can have and this is the maximum x value what i can have minimum y value and maximum y value and now i need four points to draw a square hence i have been identified this as the four points the x value 0 0.5 and the y value 0 0.5 similarly i am going to have other three points and so now let us put this design into the program and now whenever i want to represent these points these points in the open gl program these points we will call this as vertex or vertices hence we are going to use the function vertex and now this is going to contain two values in two dimension the x and y and so i'm going to use this as two and now this is going to be a floating point values 0 0.5 is a floating point values and so on and so i'm going to use this as f to represent the floating point values and now this should take two parameters and now this is a api which belongs to the library gl and so now this is going to be gl vertex 2f now if this is my first point what i'm going to give the x value is going to be minus 0 0.5 comma y value is going to be 0 0.5 i'm going to give this as 0 0.5 this is the first point of the first vertex what I am representing and now let me copy this because I need to represent the second point the third point and the fourth point hence I need to have four points in my program and so I'm using GL vertex 2f four times and this is the first point and now this I'm going to give us as the second point and this is going to be 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and this is going to be the point 3 and this is going to be 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5 and this is the fourth point which is minus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5 now this is what the four points i'm going to have so now the next step is now you are going to have four points how you are going to use these four points either to draw the four points on the display or to draw two lines or to draw a triangle and a point or to draw just set of lines or to draw a polygon or a square or a rectangle now you should group this point as one single object entity and tell how we are going to use these points and to group these points we are going to use so gl begin we are going to use gl begin which takes a parameter I will tell you what parameter you need to pass for this. I am going to have GL begin and I am going to end the group with GL end. The group begins here, the group ends here. And whatever the point comes in between, this are going to fall into one single group. And so now, as I told you, now this can be used for any purpose. So now if I want this four points to be drawn as the points only then this gl begin should take the primitive as gl points it should take the primitive as gl points so now 
this is done almost I have done here so now let me compile this program and let me close this right and uh, I'm going to compile this and I'm going to execute so now if you just look at this carefully I'm going to have this as the point I'm going to have a point over here I'm going to have a point over here I'm going to have a point here. this is the point 1 point 2 point 3 and the point 4 so now just don't look at this point this is something something has happened over here fine and so now I'm going to have four points so now if I want this points to be increased so if it's not clearly visible and if I want to increase the size of the point then I can make use of an API so GL GL point size and I can give this as 5 so by default it is 1 so now I'm be giving this as 5 so save this compile and I'm going to execute the point has been increased so you can see these four points on the display hence the points what I've been identified I can draw this as four points only and now if I don't want to draw the points so let me remove this I don't want to draw the points rather I want to draw it as lines and so I can just pass the parameter as GL lines this is what I'm saying I'm going to group these four points to draw the lines that is what the GL begin takes as parameter now compile this and execute now you can see two lines over here you can see two lines the line between point one and the point two that is now whatever the two lines you are seeing here now the, this is the first line between the point one and the point two and the second line is between the point three and the point four this is what GL lines is going to work so now if I want the outline of a rectangle or a square instead of using GL lines I can make use of GL line loop I can make use of GL line loop so save this and I need to close this window and I'm going to compile this and execute now you can see the complete outline now this is going to work so now this is going to work the first line is between the first point and the second point and the next line is between the second point and the third point and next line between the third point and the fourth point and the fourth line between the fourth point and the first point so even I can draw in this way fine and now if I am going to I am just going to close this and even close this console window and now I just want to draw a solid rectangle not just an outline hence I am going to use this as GL polygon I am going to use this as GL polygon so save this so compile and execute now this is what you are going to see on your display hence I am able to draw a rectangle so in such a way you can now try to draw a triangle and you can try to draw a rectangle or a square using any of a primitive what I've just discussed. Now you just use this function to make sure you'll be able to draw such objects. Fine. Now this is the APIs what we need to have. These are the set of APIs, the basic APIs what you need to have whenever you want to have OpenGL program. This is the skeleton of your OpenGL program. Starting from the first API what I have just introduced until the last API GL flush begin end and set of vertex function. This is what we call the skeleton of the program. Hence now this is what I wanted you to show you in this video and if you have understood it's good enough and in the in the next video I'll be showing how we are going to modify the same program I'll be modifying the same program to have a cube in your OpenGL program that is right now we are having a square we are having a square as a 2d object now if I talk about the 3d object of the same we are going to have a cube in the next video I'll be showing you how exactly you're going to have a cube and even along with that I'll be showing you how we can apply the rotation for the cube also 
Thank you for this session. And if you have liked this video and if it's helpful, so please put your comments in the comment section and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.